Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of our YouTube Let's Play for... Ooh, hello. We have neighbors over here. Uh, for Humankind. Uh, we got a couple of things we want to do for this turn. We're going to take the Science option over here. We'll just boost the research. That's going to be okay. I uh, do have enough influence to attach another district. You've got three. You've got four. Three. Two. So it would be fairly cheap to attach one over here. So maybe I'll just go ahead and attach there. And bring that up. And then I might still have enough for more. Which, in Mohandaro, can you attach to here? Yeah, let's go ahead and get that done. The other thing that could have been is attaching this district here, which might have gotten us to see whoever this purple people are. But we'll see. Um, now, what I'm hoping to do here is get a combat star from winning this. So we're going to go into assault mode over here. Um, I think I might... Oh, it's going to be a tight battle. Maybe I should manual it. I guess I should manual it. The terrain here is actually really rough for this invasion this angle. It's actually really bad. I think that effectively our strength is going to be a lot lower than it seems. Let's go! Smash that fencing. And we're going to work hard. Go! 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 Kill an archer. For your and reduce fight. their damage immediately at the start of the battle. That'll be really nice. I will finish this guy off if I do this. Which is good. Puts us inside the walls. I'm a little bit worried about the counterattack stuff. Oh, it doesn't put you inside the walls automatically. Yeah. Okay, I think that's it. Because these guys have all fired. Yeah. yeah. I'll do the mousing over and confirm. I mean, do I want to move them after I've shot here? I don't think so. I think I'm good with all their positions. Okay, battering ram goes away. A little bit of shooting over there. But so far, so good. Fortification, building cover. We'll do a lot more damage to the archers, actually. No mercy. Yeah. Let's fight. Let's do that. Keep trying to kill the guys who can attack us without taking any counterattack damage. That seems pretty valuable. And you're just gonna go and defend up. Ooh, that's quite nasty. Yeah, it's very nasty. Now, this unit is not going to be able to reach there with his movement speed. What's going to happen? I shoot the guy on the ground. And then I'm going to move back. I'm going to shoot this one. Now, now. Perfect. Um, I'm going to move you up here. Well, the verbal location is kind of weak, but I'm going to fire at this guy. Back here. In fact, can you move a little further? No, because of the hill thing, I think. You're going to step in towards the city. Um, no, never mind, because then these two will melee us. Although, oh, they might just melee this guy. Alright, I'll move into the city. I'm just going to fortify. And from here, I'm just going to move up, shoot one of these two. Fight. Be a lot of damage, which is pretty nice. A little bit more over there, and you're done. He killed himself on there, which is great. He's attacking the swordman instead of my archers, which is probably good for our battle. That is going to hurt a lot, and then he cleared up enough over here. We might lose this guy. Oh, we didn't, because we are standing on a river, which is pretty bad. Now, if we were to automate it, the AI might attack in the wrong order. Oh, it's next turn. i got to wait anyway. Okay. we will come back to you in a sec. Um, oh, I do have another stupid to build. I don't know if that's... Oh, because I added a new di district. Um, I think the production of it will get cancelled if uh, we change arrows, which might happen next turn. Unless for some reason I decide to stick around for the Agrarian Star, but I don't think that's really viable. Do you have a stonk in Good Harbor? That's not bad, actually. That's a lot of food. Or, maybe I just put down another research quarter right now. I think that might be a good idea. I'm going to put it down here, and we can build a little bit more of a triangle. Get them to boost each other. You can also potentially build a stupa over here, and then we can build some more things. That is true. But, put these artisan quarters down. And another 
Oh, down here. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. So yeah, we're still hoping that... Because we need two more, and there's definitely two more dudes in here. So that'll give us more fame before we move forward. And open this. All together. That's that. Boom. Extra star. Lovely. Um, uh, I think that'll be too expensive to do the expansionist stuff. Got stability concerns in some places. Artificial reservoir. More food on rivers. Or maybe what we do is grab the tech buildings here. Um, hmm. Well, we do have a fair amount of science going on. Your stability is manageable. Build those. I mean, we're going to want more districts because of the builder stars, but these infrastructure builds are so good, I think. So, yeah, your stability is going to be fine. It's currently sitting at zero, but it's going up to 94. So, we've got nothing to worry about over here. Although, because we're low stability, there's a limit to what we can build. Also, you have no population. Um... We could disband some units over here. I don't know if that's what I want to do, though. Um, I think what's going to happen here is we're going to assume we're going to want to start building a bunch of farms. Since I don't have any workers for the farms yet, let me put down Flood Iteration first. Because when we put down our farms, it'll be a little easier for us to tell where we're going to want to build them. But I don't think there's any doubt that the farms are going to be built on the river anyway. But yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Um, oh, I can attach territory to you, though. Oh no, there's nothing adjacent. Alright, well, we can claim some provinces and territory, which is, I think, what we're going to do here. Right. Oh, we're not in territory, so I can't upgrade you. That is true. We could upgrade you guys. I don't see any reason why we wouldn't. Unless I want to accelerate production. So yeah, we're losing 10 of our influence to return because of being over a city cap. But I'm definitely willing to eat that right now. Because I think that's going to add a lot of value. That's what we're doing. Let me move you out here. Just to expand our vision a tiny bit for next turn. Um, descendant of King. Filthy, wretched man, come to your empire, claiming to be descendant of one of the ancient rulers of the city we just took over. Without fear in front of your whole court, he boldly tells you that his people are owed a great restitution for the grave offensive you carried out against his ancestors. Screw you, dude. Everybody's willing to forgo this redress on condition you fulfill a divine prophecy and let him lead Wasakani. He promises that fulfilling the prophecy will see riches come to the city. Deny him and promises to bring war or famine to your empire. So we could belittle him, which will give us stability in Memphis, but might have unexpected consequences, which could be bad. We could exceed. This will give us more money in the new city and lose science, which doesn't really matter much. Mostly it's going to move us towards world on the geopolitical axis. Or we could redress, giving us movement speed. Yeah, I'm going to go do this, because the movement speed will be kind of convenient right now to explore a tiny bit. Um, so I think I era now. Or do I? Hmm. Because so we might be able to attach two districts to here, which would complete... Oh, no, we didn't got to do three. Why am I rushing to the new era? I don't really need to unlock the new unit or the new whatever really quick. Day. There you go, Agrarian Star just kicked in. There's our Siege Tactics, which might have been convenient for the last turn, but doesn't really matter that much. There's the last combat, but it turns out we were okay. I guess is what I meant to say. Um, I think you're going to have to go around this way if we want to see the uh, high ground because of this border. I guess I could have split this army up for some extra vision. Well, hello, you. Um, well. Well, none of these are very strong locations. I'm going to do this. And do that before we get attacked. I just want to make sure to get it planted immediately. Which we have now done. Go 
because I wanted to be able to upgrade my unit so that we didn't have something weird go on. Let's separate you out over here. Spot this way. And that way. You still have movement? Good. Grab that. And yeah, that can't actually be connected yet because we gotta wait for them to build. That plus one more. I wonder if we can get the Territory Star. I'm not sure that we can. And there's clearly nothing more agrarian we can do. We need five more Builder Stars over here. More tech, but... Hmm. Maybe? Although the sooner we do it, at the very least we get whatever this benefit is. What are we currently doing in the cities? Yeah, we're not actually adding any districts anywhere. too expensive here. It's going to be the case most places. Yeah, let's just advance. I think I'm going to be okay with it. We could transcend, which would give us a 10% boost to our fame gain, but I don't think that would be a good idea. Uh, Alright, so if we go Aztecs, lots of movement speed forever, which is great. Sacrificial altars for faith stability. Get some extra influence. Sacrifice population becomes available. Jaguar warriors. Don't need you, uh, uh, material, which is kind of nice. What do we have access to right now? We've got access to one horse, one iron. Still no copper. Marble over there. Oh, there's a barbarian over here. That's maybe a little annoying. Um, okay, so that was the Aztecs. The Byzantines, they have the Virgin Guards, which need two iron, which we currently have one of. Maybe we can do some trading. Well, we only have one person, they don't like us right now, so perhaps not. A uh, bunch of money per alliances and a bunch of money from the Hippodromes. And more benefit if you have multiple horses, but I only have the one. The Franks, the Francie uh, Milites need two horses, two iron, which is pretty crazy. That being said, the Scriptorium's pretty good because it does give us even more science that we keep sort of stacking that way. Um, and then just flat out 10% more influence and it is Estite Stars. I don't know what kind of like goal here is mostly helpful. Um, I don't think the Merchant goal is that potent for us. The Special Power is pretty good though. But if we worried about money, we could grab these guys and spam down some luxury markets. Uh, it does help if we got trade routes. Right now we don't have going on. The Meherists don't need uh, any material, which is pretty decent. Teutonic Knights are pretty brutal. I don't think I care about the Kaiserdom. Um, money and science per religion follower is kind of nifty, though. Khmer gives us a crap ton more industry forever. We've got the Berets over here, which counts as Makers' Quarters and Farmers' Quarters, so they can lead to a lot of cool adjacency bonuses. And an even other kind of elephant. Now, that needs two copper, two iron, which doesn't seem very viable. So we may not be able to take advantage of that. But what about the English? We get a little bit of extra food. It's a growth focus, so if our cities are growing quickly, we'll get more fame, which works pretty well for me, I feel. Um, the stronghold is... A, 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 improved basically garrison although it's interesting it does count as a farmer's quarters um and it does give us longbows and there's the mongols who are always the exception so our outposts become ordas which can't be attached to cities i might have the upgrade to regular outposts Three horses, Grand Mosque. I mean, if we we could consider just continuing to get unique districts that give us tech type stuff. Um, I actually suspect we'll get a lot of scientist stars. Our tech rate's gone up a lot. There's a lot of techs we or we need to backfill, which are going to be really cheap. Actually, this might be the best pick because I suspect we're going to fill in a lot of tech very quickly here. We're not this. The science per alliance is not going to do much for us for a while. But the Grand Mosque is good. And a lot of the units aren't going to do anything for us. We could build the Mongol Horde. That's the one thing. I think I kind of like the idea of going Yumayads Yuma right now. I think that might be the most useful for us. Um... Yeah, I think I really like this idea. Okay. All right, 
right, do I want to regroup these guys? Sort of. And then maybe there's a barbarian army over there. I know there was some action over here. Uh, my troops here. At least your movement speed's improved a lot by some of our stuff. Head that way. And yeah, let's... Regroup here. Okay. Uh, I could start the stupa, but again, I think we would lose it pretty much right away. Um, your stability is actually really good. Let's build the school. Sort of in preparation for building more of our uh, stat things. Uh, stability is okay. And science here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to intentionally take something. Because I don't want it to finish. I guess it doesn't matter when it takes in. Oh, plus one city cap. Let's go and unlock that right away to fix our city limit. Again, not that it's been much of a problem. I think being won over is as actually pretty standard. As far as innovation standard. goes, the Umayyads were famed for mathematics and medicine. But I have to say that their cities as well were true jewels of civilization. All right. New era, done. So we take a look over here. So yeah, 24 technologies. That should actually go pretty fast. You here. Oh yeah, are heading this way. Try to protect that section. Just group up, please. We don't have enough money to actually upgrade you. Yeah, don't yeah, keep healing for now. That's going to be okay. Now, there are some dudes wandering around over here. No doubt this independent people Aha. possess sophisticated okay, customs, these guys are pacifists. Rights, language, and beliefs. People have already influenced them. I, I think we're not going to let well. these pacifists survive. There can only be one pacifist. That combat's not great. I'll just pull back over here, and the idea will be we'll group up over here, and we'll go and attack the pacifists and add another city to our empire. Haha, <laughs> stupid pacifists. Um, yeah, so we're going to go and start Grand Mosking immediately. What's nice here between these two territories, if I build here and then build there afterwards, they'll buff each other. So let's do that. I mean, there were a few different places we could do that. So yeah, it's not actually going to be 14. It's going to be better than that. But I'll queue both those up anyway. Wonder can be claimed. Um, I still want to attach stuff to my cities, but... Yeah, probably, huh? Food for faith. Lots of war support. Um, faith for technologies. And a crap ton of stability. Well, they're all pretty good on stability. Foods? No, let's get Angkor Wat. Food for growth is always nice. I don't think I needed to save that for anything. I think there was a better angle to attack from over here. It's not ideal because the river definitely sucks. You don't see a way to do that. But we can actually. That's pretty good. We can only have one unit out right now. Attack. So even with the penalty from attacking on the river, here we go. This is great because we get all the adjacency bonuses. Did they just run? Because I didn't kill their second unit. Oh, there we go. That was odd. Okay. Um, right, yes, so, yeah, you're to make your way this way. Especially with the choke point here. I mean, they might deploy on the high ground, which kind of sucks. I know they might start ransacking here. I'm gonna do that. Uh, I want to get the Grand Mosques down first before we do anything else. So, those are pretty good. What do we have here? We do have the stupa. And the stupa, okay. So both are pretty good locations, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I don't think it makes much of a difference between those two spots. And same thing here. I don't think we're gonna care, like, both of them lead to basically the same sort of thing, so we'll do that. Maybe I'll plan. The next one, again, doesn't seem to make a difference where I put these. Go ahead. Yeah. We definitely want all of them. They're really, really strong. 
We'll go there so that we can expand next to it well, after that. How are we doing score-wise? We are currently first by a fair bit. Remember when we were last? That was terrifying. I remember. Uh, you... Well, it's going to take you a while to get anywhere. Why don't you... Yeah, let's walk that way and see what we can see. Okay. Oh, we don't own this territory. Could we? Well, it's not adjacent to anything, so the price would be more expensive until we take this city. In which case, it'll get a little cheaper. So, will this independent people be an ally or an enemy? A barrier or a blessing? Their future may not be in there. <laughs> uh, they're not going to be an ally or an enemy because they're not going to exist in a second. I'm just going to pull back just to cover these guys. Not that it really matters. Right over here. More Grand Mosking, please. Yep. Adjacent to other sciencey places. That's great. And that will be adjacent to that one. I'll just wait until that one's built over here, but this one should be better than that. But I'll just confirm the numbers afterwards. And yeah, I'm very happy to be going crazy on that. Because again, we have a bunch of techs we can backfill, which is good. Again, I have run into a problem where I've run out of text research, but that is not going to be the issue here because we have so many techs available. We're actually probably behind on tech, but that's okay because we can do a big comeback now while running a scientific civilization that'll give us more fame for researching technologies. Now, my military limit, okay, is five, so I can't actually combine these armies. No doubt this independent people possess sophisticated customs, rights, language, and beliefs. Is, uh, I do hope you're going to treat them well. Those numbers are not accurate. Don't let it fool you. So, will this independent people be an ally or an enemy? A barrier or people a blessing? Before? Their future may not be in their hands. Okay, maintain the siege. And yeah, your job is going to be to try to get there. And contribute some extra muscle. We could consider building a unit closer to the front, but... Let's do that and hope we don't get boxed in. Nope, seems okay. Blossoming of Beliefs? Hmm, uh, we could dissolve the other fates, get fanatical for 25% more faith. We could influence them and gain more actual faith points, or lead, which is also fanatical, um, and can shift these things. I'm losing some combat strength if we do this one. So we'll take one of the fanaticals. Moves towards tradition, moves towards authority. Take this. And yeah, we're just, we're very happy to pick up all the cheap techs right now. With 30 research quarters, I think we can safely we say 30 that research quarters? Yeah, okay, that's gonna go pretty well. Avenged. So, Don't fall behind. this way. Over there. Let's go. Oh, there's some copper over here, which would be really nice to secure for ourselves. Uh -huh. Jump on the river here. Okay. Uh, Grand Mosque. More Grand Mosking, please. Yep. Okay. We'll just queue up the two and then see where we are after that. Um, how are you doing? You've got food coming in, which is great. We might want to get you some basic stuff. Here, you don't even have very good production. I think I did build the... Not the stoneworks, I didn't do that. Because, yeah, this is going to be on ground. So it's going to give us a substantial amount of boost. 50% effectively, a little less than 50% more production. And when we get stoneworks, it's going to benefit this greatly. Let's go ahead and do that so you can start building a little faster before we add tech to you. Land rights. More food. Allows to claim with money instead of influence. No, I like claiming with uh, money. I think I do want to kick the more Why food should right away. Individual I think that's going to be very beneficial. Political connections determine the status of something you know what? I should do the religious war thing. Yeah. I will want to attach more things, but maybe we'll run this. I don't think you'll go down in history. The as grievances might be fun to play with. All right, yeah, we're going to keep taking some cheap techs. Power through the fame stars. 
Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't expect that. Okay, hold on. Everything changed when the Celtic nation attacked. And now you've met the Mycenaeans. Let's oh. hope relations go well. What fresh hell do you bring this time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I want to see the Mycenaeans. How's it going? Would you... You're suspicious. Different religions. More powerful. Trust is deteriorating. Um, I don't suppose you'd be interested in a non-aggression pact. No. I'm going to uh, renounce the demand. Just to keep the drama llama low over there. Okay. So the Celts are the green dudes over here. So we're at war with the green dudes. Um, most likely target would be Mohandara. And in fact, if I can attach um, Guja, which I can't, it's very expensive, it would have been nice just to stabilize things a bit more. I'm going to take my troops and send them back south. I would have loved to have grabbed that, but apparently we're not going to be able to do that right now. Um, ditto over here, just... Oh, you have no movement. Okay, that's right, we just retreated with these guys. So they can't be given a movement. Um... Now, we, we don't actually have any fortifications built anywhere, which might be something we want to look into. I don't know. Fortifications research, uh, like, for example, Mohindaro. What I think we're going to do is stone walls, and we'll put you first in the queue. And they are coming forward. What's their army look like? A couple of swordmen and a couple of runners. It's actually not that impressive, other, but we don't have you any defense over here. Me. Let's ah, there we go. They want a non-aggression pact. I love it. Thanks. And then in a few turns, we'll we'll try to bring up something um you are and i'm gonna try to let's make it so i'm gonna keep things a little relaxed over here for now even though i would like to go and punish them for their heretical beliefs okay uh i guess you can only move this far well actually it's because of the swordman isn't it so if i were to select you you and you i can move a little further a little faster down as much as you can this way. This was something I was a little concerned when I pulled my uh, my swordman up. Let's start spamming out some war elephants. Unbelievers. How do we want to treat the unbelievers? Banish them. Sacrifice population, increase money. Starting position, sacrifice to increase stability. Well, let's wait on that for now. Um, relocate capital. Absorb city. Merging cities can be fun, something we may need to do later. Um, we don't have... I don't know if there's anything we need to beeline to that'll make a difference. Uh, actually, feudalism would give us more defensive strength in our cities if they get attacked. So that might be well worthwhile. Um... Over here, can I rush these walls? No. Uh, with 14 population. So, let's let's wait on that a tiny bit. And it was... How much to attach? 1,200. Alright, move into friendly territory. Upgrade, upgrade. So we're going to do that instead of rushing the walls as quickly, because I don't think it's going to matter. And then you're going to keep moving down here as quickly as you can. Your goal is to get in there as quickly as you can. And then it's going to be a long walk, but I'll just queue you up this way and hope you don't die along the way. Um, war elephants. Legalism. Masters and students. So move this towards progress. Learning 15 science in four cities. So it's 60 science, which you can see how quickly our science has gone up. It's not that much. Maybe what I'll do is increase the faith generation. I'm going to be able to unlock a new tenant soon. 122, 125 followers. That's 100% within here. Converting over there. So they're gonna convert. Yeah, I'm gonna go mysticism. The first ship is a wonderful thing. Your empire ship? becomes one of the giants, astride the globe. Oh. And what will you do with this power? 
Imperial power is the thing that gives us a bonus. That's cool. All right, so he's hanging out over here. He is burning some stuff, which is annoying, but I don't want to rush towards him. So we're just going to park ourselves in the city. We've got not a crazy amount of income, so building these units will start to add up. Um, I should be able to, because they're like, what, 20? Uh, 10, upkeep. And I know I've got a couple in the queue still, I think, maybe. So I think we'll just build whatever over here. Stability is dropping very quickly. Let me just start the anchor lot. Just dump it in Memphis? Maybe. A lot of stability. Capital will never have a problem. Um, could you attach more territory? You can. So actually, that might not be a terrible idea. Oh, I have enough. I'm going to go ahead and attach this. So this will give us more production, more population in this city. Might help it get its walls a little faster. Hey, what? Just go for your Grand Mosque right now. That's going to be more adjacency bonus than it is. Not that it matters where I place it now. Oh, I guess they don't adjacency with each other, or they don't—they don't have any bonus that they get from being adjacent to a research quarter. But if we build a research quarter here later on, it'll get the benefit from being next to two research quarters. So that seems okay. Um, Memphis. You know, I'm, maybe I should just make sure I've got some walls kind of everywhere. Just in case something weird happens. Agrarian star, go, go. Still a decent star lead. Uh, what you doing there, bro? get booped. All right. Let's do this. Ready for guard. May as well sit in the city for stability. Hmm. Interesting. Oh yeah, attaching here is quite cheap. Can't afford that one, but that's okay. Yeah, that's quite good for that city. Um I mean, I want Anchor Walk, I want Great Temples, I want my Mosques. Do I want to build more units here? I think I'll just go for the Mosque right now. Sure, we'll do that. This city should grow fast. Production's actually decent. Hmm. Whenever we get this district, well, that actually will be okay. Unless I just want to give it a little bit more food. I think I'll do that. Because its population's gonna grow quickly. We'll want extra food work slots. Um, bonus food on river. Why are we building this? Hang on. Let's build this first. Just in case it changes the, the math for where we want to put it. That is just a unattached territory, so the population loss there is actually fine. Keep making your way down here. I think this war is going to be peachy keen, actually. They did burn that down, which is annoying. They've done damage to us. I will give them that. They've struck the first blow. Not in actual warfare, but still. Um, okay, you've got some walls now, which is good. Uh, oh shit, you have no food production. Okay, let's get flood irrigation. Then when it's done, we'll probably build a farm. I think I've got to go and put another cut in here. Man, these episodes really do fly by. It'd be great if we could take Harappa from them, their capital. And honestly, I think that might be a possibility. We shall see. Folks, thanks a lot for watching another episode. I'm going to see you guys next time.